Now we have to see a phenomena due to which the plants are able to grow vertically upwards that is their main stem would rise upwards and the lateral growth which is of the lateral stems that would be quite restricted or it would be quite less in comparison to the apex which is rising upwards. That particular condition is known as apical dominance. Now try to understand what I am telling you. You all must have seen a Christmas tree that is being decorated for Christmas or any sort of conifer. Whenever we develop a mountain scene or we draw a mountain scene, we usually draw the tree like this. It is like this, apex is going upwards, simplest try to recall your childhood day, days. So this this is supposedly my Christmas tree would appear quite strange. This is how we draw Christmas tree, right? So basically in all the plants, apical dominance is the main reason due to which they have survived or which is considered that the plants which have evolved in terms of apical dominance they have shown more evolution. Now this is the tree you can see this is the main apex this one this is the shoot apex as we call it this shoot apex always has the tendency to rise higher as compared to these shoots okay this is the lateral branch this one is lateral branch so what I said in the beginning that the lateral branches would have lesser growth in comparison to the apex this one is the apex shoot apex so the as the term suggests apical would have to do something with apex this apex is often rich in auxins auxins uh, we, it is again a phytohormone which we have discussed you need to see that what is the role of auxin auxin is also uh, importantly the auxin which is responsible for growth Epical dominance that is the growth of apex larger or greater in comparison to the lateral branch growth in a plant that is controlled by an auxin known as indole acetic acid. Now what indole acetic acid is the auxin responsible for the plant for the process in which the plant rises quite higher. It is for vertical rising of the plant so that it can rise further so that it can move upwards and show growth in the height of the plant so that it can take more light and perform better photosynthetic activities that is done by auxin. Now what happens is you might have been knowing the bioassay of auxin and we have done it. The auxins would be present in the shoot apex. So now what happens they show the growth the vertical growth downwards and such is the auxin concentration at the shoot apex that this axillary buds which are present over here in these axillary buds the IAA concentration is lower in comparison to IAA concentration at the shoot apex that is why the lateral branches would grow in lesser speed as compared to the the main branch that is the vertical growth that would be taking place now this um, you know there are um, the gardening practices in which the hedges and other plants are grown we did discuss in auxins that auxins are uh, responsible for apical dominance whenever this apex would be removed then also apical dominance stays in the scenario how it stays now that you have removed the indole acetic acid concentration or the head has been removed of the plant this axillary bud basically is going to show the apical dominance and try to overtake the shoot any of these these two lateral branches now consider this uh, plant itself this is the Christmas tree that we took into scene supposedly the apex has been removed now what would happen if ever you have observed in conifers the lateral branch one of the lateral branch would try to show the apical dominance okay and then they would take on the lateral branching something like this would happen because in nature we don't find such intact Christmas trees around us the uh, Christmas tree is the simple name otherwise the scientific name for this particular plant is orocaria or and I'm going to use the term conifers henceforth in the conifers the lateral branch if the head has been removed will have the indole acetic acid concentration and it would try to take the apical dominance so basically when we talk about ap apical dominance we say that it is 
a function of IAA and auxins because when even if the shoot tip is removed, where the epical dominance was clearly visible in the beginning or from where it has been started, it is going to take place or it is it would be shown by the other lateral branches which would be in contact with the apex as soon as the apex has been removed. So all we need to know is that epical dominance is the phenomena due to which the plant rises. Plant has the tendency to rise higher vertically and show lesser growth in the lateral front. That means vertically the plant would rise at much greater speed as compared to the lateral growth and that is quite visible in the conifer trees. Thank you.